Hello and welcome to Retro Neon Arcade for the HTC Vive. Now before we actually jump into this and get retro, I'm going to press the tilde key and I'm going to type this on screen. Apparently there's actually a bug with the XML files with this game and you don't get the proper resolution that we want. For the Vive we want all good. Now I've put this on 450 just to show you. This is not actually playable because one of the eyes doesn't work, it goes a little bit glitchy. Now you say, well why are you putting that on screen then? Why are you showing us? Because if you want to know what sort of resolution you could possibly get out of the Vive, you will be gobsmacked at 450. It's almost photorealistically sharp. It's absolutely beautiful. But in the meantime, we're going to put that back down to 400. 400 is a good medium. It enables us to be able to get a lot better resolution. It's a lot sharper. And so here we are. Ever wanted your own virtual arcade? Well, now we've got it. As you can see here, we have a kind of blink system which will show us where we can jump immediately over there and look at this. Every man's dream to have his own arcade in his basement. All we need now is some hot girls dancing around here with hooters tops on, delivering us beer and chips, and we are complete. Now, as this is a demo, we're not actually able to play on any of these arcades as yet, as you can see, so a lot of them have got different names. Double Trouble, that's obviously Bubble Bobble. Fragger is Frogger. War, what's that one? That's Star Wars over here. War Galaxy. And eventually, we'll be able to put a virtual coin in and play it as if you were actually at the arcade. And you know what? It actually feels quite good to stood in front of this. So as you can see, that's going to be Star Wars. So let's have a look over here. A funky Ghetto Blaster. Now, I'm sure a lot of the younger people on this channel won't even know what a Ghetto Blaster is. This is what we used to have when we were younger. We used to get plastic mats down, we used to listen to Paul Ladd's Castles 19, and we used to pretend we could break down some body pop and all that sort of stuff. And you'll find these cassettes all over the place. You just put them in, and it changes the music, all from a retro era. And what's this, you say? Surely we can't play with that. Yes, we can. And if I grab it with this one, we've now got a working Game Boy in my hand. And yes, we are going to be able to change the cassettes out and put different Game Boy games in here. As you can see, all the buttons work perfectly on here. So you could even sit down in your chair in your games room, or even on the sofa if you matched it up, and play a wide variety of Game Boy games. Not quite sure how in-depth this is going to be, whether some of these are going to be free. <laughs> Look at that up there. Copywriting for Robocop. Whether they're going to be free or whether you buy them or whether we could just basically squirt in an emulator. Very exciting indeed, as you can see. These look like NES games. A couple of. Let's just have a look. Again, these are all going to be probably copyrighted until it's finalised or whether these are just placeholders. And over here, it looks like we've got a SNES. Look at that perfectly modelled. Beautiful. It's got a cartridge in it. And yeah, eventually. Let's have a look what we go over here. I wonder if we'll have an N64 as well at some point. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? You could put them in, and this on the TV is where these games will actually appear. Yep, fully working. Yeah, yeah, it's just come up with the default screen for now. 1991. It's come up with the default controller here, and as you can see, all the buttons work absolutely perfectly in virtual reality. And it looks really, really nice. Imagine a lot of my friends are into retro stuff that started collecting the old games consoles and things like that. So this is a dream come true. A lot of them are using Amazon Fire Stick so they can actually play some of the games on the TV. <clears throat> but the actual feeling in virtual reality of actually being able to stand in front of a cabinet is really, really rather cool. And I know my friends Burnley and Rayner and all those guys, they're definitely going to want to have a look at this once it's actually released. Because obviously at the moment this is still in demo mode. So let's just have a look down here, see what else we've got. Fridge full of beer. The old basketball machines, a swheel. I just need to move back a little bit. I'm right at the edge of my uh, room boundary. Yeah, let me just move back and zoom forward. See if I can pick these up. I don't know whether this is actually working as yet. I presume you'll be a scoreboard and you put coins in, virtual coins. Well, that was a limp wristed throw. Oh dear, let me try that one again. In you go. No. Well, it is a demo. The physics seemed a little bit strange on that, like the ball was a cannonball. And 
whether we're going to be able to change out these arcades will be another one remember it does say in the notes that this is your arcade so i'm guessing we're going to be able to customize carpets the actual arcade games in here whether there's a, an ultimate high scoreboard say for frogger or space invaders what's this here what does that say on it miami hotline ha 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 very funny can't get in the toilets i've tried that before and let's go a little bit further down here 1944 i think i just saw them all right yep so i've got a bowling alley as well is this working looks like it let me just check in my real room i'm not going to hit something here get this table get my chair out of the way there we go right let's give it a... again that felt a little bit soft like i was throwing that quite hard i did actually used to be in a bowling team and i won a few trophies so there you go got nine turkeys and if you know what that is it's a bloody good score right yeah very cool and what have we got over here pizzas oh look at that the old phone hello this is paraplays vr uh, send them some hot chicks over some beer and send me back to 1980 please because it's far better than 2000 but then again you wouldn't be on the vr headset would you this is right you're correct get lost so anyway guys thanks for watching i seem to have lost a lot of subscribers recently for my honesty with some of the games that are just turd coming out too early i think if it's alpha fine but if it's alpha 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 don't bother it just gives your game a bad rep anyway i'm gonna sit here on this virtual sofa drink some beer go play some arcade games thanks for watching see you later bye bye